Hey guys, thanks for tuning in to Amigo's YouTube channel. This is Cheney180. Today we're going to be taking a look at the SH Figuarts uh, Street Fighter 6 Outfit 2 Guile. Now, we didn't get Guile in the original run of these Street Fighter figures from SH Figuarts. So this is an all new figure technically. Even though I have my suspicions, for some reason I feel that it, uh, it was an older, older sculpt that they kind of had sitting around. And they kind of took the time to, or they kind of took the moment to go ahead and put this guy out. But he's finally 100% out, and I have him in hand. And uh, let's kind of go over some things here. Uh, first off, out of the three faces, this is the one I like the most. Uh, this is not the default face that comes on the figure, but this is the one that... Uh, this is the one that I prefer to keep on it. I'll put it that way. Uh, we've got the chain along here, which is sculpted on, unfortunately. I kind of like the ability to kind of like move the chain around if I see fit, but this isn't horrible. Uh, it's painted nicely, sculpted fairly decently here. You've got his American flag tattoos on his shoulders here, looking good. We've got a very weird kind of like sculpt here for his shirt. So it's nice and thick up here. But then here it gets thin and, you know, stretchy across his abs, um, which is interesting. Same thing with the back back here. As you can see, they kind of like utilized the the tank top here for the, uh, to break up the sculpt for the mus muscles right there. And then you've got his camouflage pants here with the pouches. Belt is painted nicely. Boots came out fairly decently, fairly decently. But uh, yeah, let's go ahead and check out his accessories. Guile comes with three face plates, three sets of hands, a uh, little comb for his hair, for his signature uh, winning hair combing move. And then you also get this cool sonic boom effect piece here along with this stand so you can unplug it here i don't know if that was supposed to do that there's glue on there because the little ball joint came on the actual piece so i don't know if it was supposed to do that or not but as you can see it's colored nicely it goes from like a darker greenish yellow to like a more clear uh metallic pearlescent kind of like color there Looks real good in the light. I do dig it. And then, you know, this real basic kind of stand here. And let's go ahead and check out some of these hands here. So we have two splayed out kind of grappling hands here. Or you could use them for, you know, after he throws the sonic boom. And then you have the, uh, the hair brushing hands here. You got one to hold the comb one here his hands are massive and it's weird because it's like a very kind of like you can see fingernails kind of here but not on the pinky finger that much and then lastly we have the other face plates um, these are rough these are rough uh, th my favorite one is the one that's on it this one is just i don't know what happened here i really don't and then this one's kind of cool, I guess, but he's got, you know, green eyes with the black pupils and whatnot. So let's go ahead and get into some articulation. Okay, so we've got some weird things here and some good things. And let's go ahead and just break them down from head to toe. So we've got a ball joint or a barbell joint into here with another joint at the bottom of the neck. And that allows for decent movement. He can look up about that high and look down. He could bury his chin. So that's good. One thing I've noticed is the face plate is kind of off color from the neck and the chest. So it looks kind of strange. And then this is perhaps the most annoying part of the figure. Um, so you do get butterfly joints here that go forward, which look good. And then they go up as well. 
but you don't get any back at all. So he can't charge up his Sonic Boom. You really got to finagle things here and work them around to even get it to remotely. But then they lock up because the mass of the shoulders here. Um, so, to, ooh, yeah, that's that's one of the issues. I'm glad that did that because <laughs> if you uh, try to move it too much there, the, the shoulder will pop off. But that's that's about as high up as his arms go. Now you can swivel it around, but you're not going to get like a straight, you get this weird kind of deal here, which is very, very unfortunate. Um, you know, it, it, I don't know. It's kind of frustrating. You don't get a bicep swivel, but you kind of do in the shoulder there. So it's like inside like the, uh, some of the older SH figure arts. You get a single hinge elbow. You get about that much. There is a swivel at the elbow as well, so that does help out. And then you get a hinge and a swivel here on a ball joint for the wrist. But if you wanted to swivel this around and try to move it up and down, you get very little movement because the way that it's sculpted is kind of like a cuff or a cup. And so it just kind of smashes into the sculpt there. So it primarily, you're going to get the most amount of movement this way. So that's a little bit unfortunate. Now the top torso piece, you can move that around. And then the, the waist area. So you do get a decent amount there. It bends forward about that far. Back about that far. And then you can go side to side as well. Legs go out about that far. You can move forward that far. Back, not so much. You get a little tiny bit of a thigh swivel in the hips there. Uh, there's not much of anything going on with that. You get a double hinge knee, which is about there. Um, you do get a swivel here at the boot. You get a hinge, which is looks strange, but it's functional. You know, there's a big open gap there in his boot. Uh, you get a pivot here at the ankle. And then you do get a wonderful toe hinge. So I do like that. But it looks kind of strange. I don't know. There's some weird choices made here. But yeah, that about sets up for his articulation. Let's go ahead and do some comparisons now. So here we have the Soda Toys guile from a long time ago and then we have the storm collectibles as you can see the storm collectibles towers over uh, both of these figures and yeah so we've got i still man this thing still holds up to me for some reason it still it still hangs in there after all these years then we have sh figure arts chun li and sh figure arts ryu and i don't know there's just something weird going on here he just stands out he looks too different it doesn't look like he kind of like fits in the line then we have sh figure arts cami sh figure arts ken then we have sh figure arts akuma and M. bison right here and here we have sh figure arts blanca and sh figure arts armika then we have the beloved SH Figure Arts Sagat here. And I thought that, you know, initially from the, the promotional images that they shared a lot of the sculpt, but actually the sculpt is nicer on this to me than what we have here. So I don't know what's going on. It's it's very strange. There's some very strange things happening here. Then here we have the Jada Toys Ryu and the uh, Jada Toys Target Exclusive Chun-Li. Then we have Jada Toys Ken and Jada Toys M. Bison. Then we have the Metacom Mafex. Brown Suit Wolverine and Metacom Apex Psylocke. All right, so final thoughts on the SH Figure Arts Outfit 2 Guile. Um, I'm kind of torn in, in the middle on this thing. Um, there's some things that functionally work well. Like, you know, basically the shoulders do not. Elbows are good on it. Everything else is pretty good for the most part. Um, you know, I don't have too many issues with getting him in poses and stuff like that. Unless I want him to... Put his arms back in charge for a sonic boom that's not possibility at all uh this figure is sculpted strange to me it, it's weird it, it it really like i'm having a hard time seeing where this thing fits in um initially i wasn't gonna buy this but i was like yeah i've i was i loved the sh figure arts street fighter line initially and i was like well i got i gotta get guile you know I have to get him, but 
yeah, I, I, I'm not the biggest fan. I don't, I'll put it this way. I don't hate this figure, but I most certainly do not love it either. It's definitely got some problems. It's, it's a very weird sculpt. The faces came out kind of strange. Uh, he's kind of stout. Like he should, like, I feel like he should be taller. It seems like there's not enough neck. I'm like there should be a little bit more neck there. Um, yeah, the sculpt is really what kind of like throws me off in the face and kind of like the arms, how veiny they are and whatnot, even though they're supposed to be veiny, but yeah, it's just weird. As I said, it's, it he kind of like doesn't fit in. Like when you put him next to this, they don't look like they're from the same line at all. Like he's very matte where the other figures are more shiny, I guess. It's, it's very strange. He's a very odd fit. But uh, he's <laughs> he's fitting in the collection now. He's part of the SH Figure Arts Street Fighter display here in uh, in my collection. So yeah, I, I'm I'm kind of perplexed on this one. I, I don't I most certainly don't love it, and I mo most certainly don't hate it. it. It's starting to warm up to me a little bit. The more that I keep this faceplate on, but as we can see here. Let me put the other face on. I'm just, I'm not a fan of that for some reason. I don't know why. It just bugs me. I don't know what, what's going on with that. And then we'll put this one on here. I'm not the hugest fan of that one either. So, I don't know. This is kind of weird. It's a very strange figure to me. Very, very strange. But that's about all I've got to say on this. He's probably going to go in the Detolf and stay there. And after I finish some pictures with him, um, yeah, that's where it's going to stay. So thank you guys so much for tuning in. Uh, feel free to hit the thumbs up. Share it with your friends. Check out the podcast, Chat Me Was Assemble, on Tuesdays. They're Not Dolls on Thursdays. And take it easy, guys. <laughs>